About every 60 seconds, someone in the United States experiences a stroke. A stroke, also called a brain attack, is caused by a blood clot or break in blood vessels in the brain. Strokes are the third leading cause of death in the U.S. Those who do survive a stroke are often left debilitated. Strokes kill so many people partly because treatment options are highly time-sensitive. A common treatment consists of injecting the patient with a drug that targets and dissolves the blood clot. While extremely effective, its success rapidly decreases after the first three hours from onset of symptoms. An alternative treatment uses a corkscrew device to actually remove the clot. It can be highly successful, but the device can accidentally puncture nearby blood vessels, or worse, allow pieces of debris to separate from the main clot and travel further into the brain, causing additional blockages and potential strokes. Now, a promising new treatment option may be able to safely remove more clots and save patients' lives. Neurologist Vallabh Janardhan and his brother, engineer Vikram Janardhan, have developed the Insera Shelter Device. The device consists of a long catheter fitted with a collapsible metal net, which entraps blood clots and safely removes them. So the components of this device um, are a couple. One is a miniaturized umbrella component, which is deployed north or distal to the clot. Um, it has a polymer component to it with microscopic laser drilled holes that allows the good blood cells to flow through but traps the stroke causing debris and clots. And south of uh, the blood clot, uh, what you see here in blue color, is an open mouth or open necked catheter which entraps the clot from the south end. So the versatility of the solution is to be able to entrap the clot from both the north as well as the south end. Because the mesh net is coated with a special plastic, the risk of puncturing a vessel is almost wholly eliminated, and the shelter device can be deployed many hours after symptoms begin. This solution of ours is an alternative to drug infusion therapy. And since only 3 to 4 percent of the stroke population have access to drugs, what we strive to accomplish is to pry open that window give access to stroke patients maybe six hours, eight hours, and perhaps even 12 hours after onset of stroke symptoms. The shelter device has performed well in testing, showing promising results in removing clots from small vessels in a model of the brain. The developers hope to run clinical trials in the U.S. in 2012 or 2013 and seek regulatory approval shortly thereafter, after which this life-saving technology could permanently transform our treatment of strokes.